The people of New Braunfels are not going to like that I'm making this video explaining what it is to like in New Braunfels and even visit and why so many people are talking about New Braunfels, Texas. The New Braunfels Herald reports New Braunfels wins by ranking the 12 Texas Travel Awards. Green Hall, another award for best places to dance. Dry Kamal Creek Vineyards named the best agritourism. What is that? Lena Park won Best Swimming Spot. Guadalupe Brewing, which is honestly one of my favorites, was named Best Brewery. Camp Finfo was named the Best Resort. And that's only a few of what New Braunfels has to offer if you're visiting, but it's very different when you're trying to live there. I'm Trey with the Cavalry Guru, brokered by Rio, the worst New Braunfels realtor. So I divided New Braunfels into four areas that's very easy to understand about the pros and cons of living or visiting these areas. Before that, I asked ChatGPT what they say about what people need to know about New Braunfels. ChatGPT says living in New Braunfels, Texas offered a blend of small town charm, rich history, and vibrant community. Here are some of the things. It has a German heritage, lots of outdoor recreation, festivals and events, water recreation, historical attractions, family-friendly environment, job opportunities, proximity to San Antonio and Austin. I totally agree with that. Strong sense of community and the cost of living is generally more affordable. And of course, I want to know what do people hate about New Braunfels? Crowded during peak seasons, because New Braunfels is a very popular tourist destination, especially during the summer months. You have the Guadalupe River and the Comal River that runs through the city. You also have Lake McQueenie and Lake Dunlap. Traffic congestions, limited employment, but it just said, lack of diversity, seasonal flood risk, limited nightlife and entertainment options. That is a total lie, plenty to do. Rising housing costs. New Braunfels had one of the biggest booms in 2020 and 2021 with its huge peak during the pandemic. The first area is what people know New Braunfels as the most is downtown New Braunfels, which has both rivers and the whole floating the river, all the festivals like Wars Fest. That is the most common for New Braunfels. But outside of the downtown area is the south east part of New Braunfels. This area is a little more affordable and even has some flood zones that you have to watch out for. Now the southeast side is where you can find Lake McQueenie, Lake Dunlap, and a lot of very beautiful communities on the south. Next area of New Braunfels is going to be the northwest side, which encompasses various neighborhoods and many master plan communities that basically are in the northwest corridor along 46. And the last section of New Braunfels is my personal favorite. It's gonna be Green, Texas. So Green is a part of New Braunfels, but it is a totally different vibe. Green has communities that is based around the downtown Green area, which is based around the Guadalupe River and Texas Green Hall with extremely historic shops and restaurant. Honestly, Gristmill is just the best and is a staple in that community. Definitely gotta try it. So there's so much to say about downtown New Braunfels, the nightlife, the family-friendly environments, the tubing, eating outside, there's just so much to choose from. But for the real estate part, the average sales price is 657,000. There's 259 homes and it's very walkable. The downtown area of New Braunfels is very diverse in what you can buy. So you, this is a $624,000 home, or this one that's not as close to the river for 475, or this one for 1,458 square feet, about two miles from the river. The further away you go, the least expensive it gets. So the New Braunfels Herod is actually trying to slow down the short-term rental communities as the community is fighting back. With the growing popularity of New Braunfels, it is going to be something that will change over time. But right now, the regulations aren't as strict as the city of San Antonio. Let me show you what a median home price would be if you bought in downtown New Braunfels. This is 465 Gunther Avenue and it's around 550, which is pretty average for a semi-updated home in the downtown New Braunfels area right by the Comal River or the Guadalupe River. So this home, as you can see, does need some updating, but it is pretty well taken care of. Most of these homes are on pier and beam. It's pretty close to the Schlitterbahn and also the tube access if you're floating the river. Downtown New Braunfels is the most common, what everybody knows New Braunfels, but there's actually much more to New Braunfels than just the downtown area. I don't know if I'd wanna live there or just visit. Next major development that New Braunfels had in terms of housing after they've already developed and established the downtown area is they started building Southeast. Here we have Legend Point neighborhood, which average sales price is around 364,000, 28 active homes for sale, not very walkable. 
Let's look at what a house would get you on the southeast side of New Braunfels. So this one, 4531 Legends Trail. It's a three bedroom, two bath, 1900 square feet, and seems pretty updated and relatively new. This home is newer, built in 2019, and is in a master plan community, which the average sales price would be around 340 to 350. This is another home in a little bit older community for 355, four bedroom, three bath, 2400 square feet, and you can tell this one may need some new pictures or updating. Most of the schools on the southeast side of New Braunfels is zoned for Canyon High School, which has an overall rating of an A minus according to niche.com. That's kind of surprising because the families that we've helped relocate to that side, they don't always love Canyon High School, but they actually heard better feedback with New Braunfels High School. Now you do have to be careful of some areas of New Braunfels around here has flood zones. Last thing about the southeast side. So once you go closer to Dunlap and McQueenie, you get some really cool cabin type homes that are either very close or on the river, which makes it really cool living. For 319,000, this two bedroom, two bath, 1168 square feet is a pretty cool little lake bungalow. They are still building and developing in these communities, which will likely gentrify into these old cabin style homes. The third area is the northwest side of New Braunfels, which is very popular because it has a lot more amenities and newer planned communities that are just a little bit further away from the downtown. These communities are going to be on this side of New Braunfels, which is on 46. It has lots of shopping and the New Braunfels High School is right by these Metropolitan communities on Loop 337. Two of the most popular communities in this area of New Braunfels is Copper Ridge and River Chase. Copper Ridge has an average sales price of 732,000. There's 29 homes for sale and the homes in Copper Ridge usually have about a half acre to an acre lots. Some of them have the modern luxurious type and some of them have the farmhouse barn dominium styles. You can buy a lot in Copper Ridge or River Chase and really build what you want. Most of the lots are privately owned and there's many builders to choose from in that area. Let's check out this place at 1953 Hunters Cove for 1.1. This is about what you get. Very modern, really nice features in different areas. And it's still very close to the amenities on the northwest side of New Braunfels and even has a Texas basement. Next is my absolute favorite part of New Braunfels, which is Green, Texas. Green has a variety of style homes because it is one of the oldest parts of Texas before really New Braunfels was New Braunfels. There are homes for 370,000 all the way up to over a million. You can even find a condo that butt up right into the Guadalupe Lupe River where you can jump on your tube and float your worries away. There aren't too many developments that are going around green. Green has a historic area that their homes were built in the 1900s, but they do have new subdivisions that are around green. 1332 Green Glen is a really nice one. It's a four bedroom, three bath, 2,904 square feet, and the pictures are really nice. This is the style that you'll see around green. Now you are surrounded by other homes like this, and the lots are about less than a quarter of an acre. Green in New Braunfels also has lots that back up into the lake where you can build your own home. Like this one for 10,472 square feet for 175,000, you can be right on the river. Even though the market is very different than it was a few years ago, New Braunfels is still expanding. According to this article, hundreds of new homes on the horizon 1900 acre New Braunfels community is coming up. We just broke grand last year and we're hopefully delivering completed lots by the end of the year. This development has been in fruition for about two years, but now they're actually breaking ground. This community is gonna have all of the major buildings that is local to this area. You have Davy Weekly, Highland Homes, Perry Homes, which is starting construction around the Mayfair community, which is just north of New Braunfels, kind of close or west of Green. Going back to the worst of New Braunfels, according to ChatGPT, I can agree that during crowded seasons, New Braunfels is a popular tourist destination and it can get crowded. Now, if we look at the crime in New Braunfels, according to Neighborhood Scout, it is color coded for the safest and the not so safest. But downtown New Braunfels does have a lot of festivals, which attracts a lot of people from different parts of the world. And when you bring together thousands and thousands of people in a very small place, you get some crime. According to this website, are the safest in River Forest, Pinnacle, Oak Run, and Hunter's Creek. 
but it's also very rural in those areas, even with all the development we've had recently. So to reference the four areas, I broke it down the Southeast, the crime rates on the Southeast that I said before, which is around number 10. Downtown would be kind of on the higher side because of the color coding. Around the 46 area seemed to be the lightest color and green being even surprisingly dangerous. I don't see it. You go to the grist mill, you get some mimosas and all your problems will melt away. I say that I'm the Roast Realtor because I cut the sales fluff and give you the truth. If you're looking to move around the New Braunfels or San Antonio area, shoot us a message. See you at Worst Fest.